Eastern has a, a green book out the back there. I thought I'd kept them nice and nice and short. Yeah, just in, just in the front there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The angel of the Lord brought tidings to Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto thee according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And the Word was made flesh. And I dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. We beseech you, Lord, pour your grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his passion and cross may we be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. I know the one in whom I have believed, and I am sure that he, the just judge, the mighty, will keep safe what is my due until that day, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome, my friends, to Mass here uh, on the great feast of the conversion of St. Paul. I guess there's an argument that says that if Paul wasn't converted, we wouldn't be here. Who knows? But he was, of course, that great missionary apostle, and we give thanks to God for him. At the beginning of the Eucharist, we call to mind our shortcomings, our need of God's forgiveness and love. 
you raise the dead to life in the Spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the Father's right hand to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who caused the light of the gospel to shine throughout the world through the preaching of your servant, St. Paul, grant that we who celebrate his wonderful conversion may follow him in bearing witness to your truth through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogue at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were travelling with him stood speechless, because they heard the voice, but saw no one. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. For three days he was without sight and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, get up and go to the street called Straight and at the house of Judas, look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment he is praying, and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who invoke your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. He laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and his sight was restored. Then he got up and was baptized 
and after taking some food, he regained his strength. For several days, he was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, saying, He is the Son of God. All who heard him were amazed and said, Is not this the man who made havoc in Jerusalem among those who invoked this name? And has he not come here for the purpose of bringing them bound before the chief priests? Saul became increasingly more powerful and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Messiah. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. God, be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that your way may be known upon earth, your saving power among all nations. Let the, Let peoples, the peoples praise you, O God. God. Let, Let all, all the peoples, peoples praise, praise you. you. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for you will judge the peoples righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Then shall the earth bring forth her increase, and God, our own God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Let, Let the, the peoples, peoples praise, praise you, O God. God. Let, Let all, all the peoples, peoples praise you. you. I to God cleanse my heart and my lips that I may well and proclaim. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Peter said to Jesus, Look, we've left everything and followed you. What then will we have? Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, at the renewal of all things, when the Son of Man is seated on the throne of his glory, you who have followed me will also sit on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, or brothers, or sisters, or father, or mother, or children, or fields, for my name's sake, will receive a hundredfold, and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please sit down for just a moment. I made a couple of notes which I'm reading from my iPad. So today we celebrate the fact that God looked around all the men living in the world and decided to give a second chance to the very man who was all out to destroy Christianity. The same man who went about from house to house dragging Christians to, to, to jail. The same man who supervised the stoning of the first Christian martyr, Stephen, the same man whose zeal for the destruction of Christians would put him on a missionary journey with letter of permission, became the greatest missionary to promote the Christian faith. That is what God does. God turns everything upside down by changing people. The beauty of St. Paul's conversion was that the moment he rose from his feet, he never went back. From that day, 
he saw himself as a completely different person, and he was a completely changed person. According to St. Peter, if we repent, there should be no going back, otherwise we become worse for it. For it would have been better for them, he writes, never to have known the way of righteousness than, after knowing it, to turn back from the holy commandment that has passed on to them. Or as the proverb has it, the sow is washed only to wallow in the mud. As some people would say, no matter how you wash a pig, it will look for mud again. This got me thinking that in the end, the kind of washing a pig requires is not the washing of the outer skin, but the washing of the heart. The washing of that which makes the pig love mud. This is what true repentance is. It means changing your heart, changing the things that might give you joy, changing the things you might love and desire, even in secret. Repentance is changing the things that make you love to dance in the mud. Changing your belief in yourself. It's telling yourself that you can do without sin, live without sin. No, flourish without sin. So perhaps on this day we should pray that we, like St. Paul, may experience an entire conversion of our hearts so that then we can go and share the good news. In our prayers, we pray for all churches and religious institutions under the patronage of St. Paul. We pray for all Christian writers. And we pray for all who are being led to an encounter with Jesus in their lives at this time. Especially for those who may reside in our parish community. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world in which we live and move and have our being. For all who have influence and authority among the nations of the world. For our government, national and local. For wisdom. for discernment, for clarity and consistency in public life. Lord, in your mercy, for family and friends, for all those upon whom we depend, for those who touch our lives with their healing touch, Today I ask your prayers in the family of Woodard Schools for Lansing College, where our founder is buried, and for its two preparatory schools. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for Margaret, Eileen, Katie, Julie, Jill, Tony, Anne, Marjorie, David, Jane, Julia, Hannah, and Terence. We pray for those who have recently died, especially for Margaret Burridge, for Mark and Marianne who mourn her, and for Dot Bell. 
Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. We offer to God the cares and concerns of our own hearts and minds, and we pray for that gift of conversion, of true repentance. Father, hear the prayers we make in the name of your Son, our Saviour and our Redeemer. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and this wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself and shares in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you. We humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith with which he constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. We rejoice in the glorious splendour of your majesty, for you have given us a share with the Apostle Paul in the inheritance of the saints in light. In the darkness of this passing age, they proclaim the glory of your kingdom. Chosen as lights in the world, they surround our steps as we journey on towards the city of eternal light, where they sing the everlasting song of triumph. In communion with angels and archangels and all who have served you on earth and worship you now in heaven, we raise our voices to proclaim your glory, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you, 
This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice, made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption as we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of Paul, the Apostle, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death and life. Faith and your teaching, never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. I live by faith in the Son of God, who has loved me and given himself up for me. The body of Christ.
strength now and forever. Let us pray. Lord God, the source of truth and love, keep us faithful to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, united in prayer and the breaking of bread, and one in joy and simplicity of heart. We ask this through Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God give you grace to follow Paul and all the saints in faith and hope and love and the blessing of God Almighty Father and Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and forevermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.